guys. This is Can We Talk About It. I'm Margaret. Oh, wow. You're going to let me do it this time? That's why I've been mean, like three episodes you, in a row. And, you weren't ready, I guess. It's your boy, Yule. What's good? I, I gave you your, your chance and you didn't take it. So, you know, that's how I we do shocked. it here. We just move on. Anyway, shocked. anyway. Um, you know, it's, this week's a rough one because it's like there were so many things to talk about, none of which I actually wanted to talk about or hear about anymore after a little bit. Yeah. Like all the news coming out, I was just like, ugh. The only story I liked this week was um, there was a guy who, like, literally, like, I guess the bus didn't wait for him, so he went up and, like, leaned his head against the bus until the guy opened the door for him. That guy is all of yeah. us. That's how I felt this whole week, especially because they said that they're going to raise uh, the and the fare to $3, which they've been saying for a while, but now it's, like, in motion, so. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I don't want the fare to be raised at all. I know. Uh, I'm like, is anywhere because <laughs> it's already got ridiculous. They said that it had to do with the, you know, the raise that everyone got because minimum wage increase. Uh, I'm like, is it the L train you want? You can have it back. Yeah, like, just shut it down. Just shut the whole line. Yeah. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah. So commutes in New York are clearly not going to get easier, Especially, except for for that guy because he he know he's figured out the system. It's like right, right. If it's right. getting your way, just getting its way. That's how you got to do it because uh, this man. I feel like he's, That's he's one of my New York heroes. He's, he he's is. added on the list. And he really did capture my mood for this week. There was just so much, there was like so much mess. It was like a messy week. And just everything was coming out and I was just like, I don't want to hear about it anymore. And when we were like talking about what we were going to discuss today, we would come up with the topic and be like, I guess we have to do that because it's literally the only yeah. thing that's like been in the or... news cycle. But man, yeah. So, uh, what do you want to start with? Are you feeling you feeling a little Trump? You feeling a little Kardashian? You feeling a little? I hate all of these um, things. Oh, for real. Like, <laughs> it's yeah. all a shit show. Uh, I want to end talk, on a let's... positive note, actually, so you know what story we're gonna do last. Okay, so let's start with Trump. Trump. Unfortunately. I yes. mean, it was bad news for Trump. Uh, Michael Cohen testified this week. Um, it was it was a doozy. Like, it was good. I, I watched it. I watched the whole thing, too. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was a lot. But this was the thing, you know, all of these articles were coming out after, like, um, you know, whatever. Ten revelations from the Michael Cohen. There were no fucking revelations. Like, what, like is, what was news to anyone that we heard during that? Like, he came with receipts, which I can appreciate, but I remember I was reading one article, and it was like, um, like revelation number five was Trump is a racist, and it was like, 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 yeah, what? Since when? What? Trump? Donald? Fuck. No, no, not him. Not my man Donald. No, Donnie. Go, <laughs> Donnie. Oh no, my god. Like, um, We're just like, yeah. 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 Like, what okay. else? He's like, oh yeah, um, well. He's a fraud. Like, yeah, yeah. But, but what else? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, he paid Stormy Daniels. Yeah. But, what? like, yeah, but, like, yeah. what else? like, okay, what do you, like, yeah. Um, he knew about WikiLeagues. Like, okay, yeah, 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 but what else? Yeah, like, oh, he's like, conspired yeah. with Russia. Yeah, like, oh, but what else? But what else? Yeah. So, I don't know. And I'm just, at the end of the day, it's, like, even when we hear all of these, like, juicy details and this and that, it's like, okay, you going to impeach the man or not? Because at this point, I don't care. Like, if, if nothing's going to come of this, you don't have to confirm for me shit that I already know. Agreed. Like, it was cool that Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez got to kind of lay the groundwork for, like, him the having to realize that return. But, but, again, if we have the fact, all these other facts on the table, what does his tax return have to do with anything? Yeah. Like, yeah. he's not going to be. My favorite thing, though, was actually when Cohen said that Trump said black people were too stupid to vote for him. That made me feel good. <laughs> Elaborate. It made me feel good about our community because if, like, if Trump says that you're too stupid to vote for him, that it's a compliment. Means, like it's a, like an inverse. You see what I'm saying? I'm like, I like that. I like that way of thinking. Like, like I, wow. Like, I like. I. I it, it was how I felt immediately. You know, I like. like being, I'm glad that we're all this stupid. Now yeah. That you mentioned yeah. it. Wow. Yeah. Good right? job, black people. Facts. <laughs> Except for the ones that actually voted for him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well. Fucking trash bags. <laughs> Look what you did. Look who we're at. I blame you. <laughs> and Chris Brown. Oh, Unrelated. No. Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> well, 
So besides, I, this is the thing with, with like, you know, the Michael Cohen shit. It's like, I'm like, I don't even feel the need to discuss it until we see if something happened. Then let's um, discuss it. Even do you think yeah. that Michael Cohen is going to get a better deal because of this? I think he he's serving a three-year sentence. And I mean, I think that was reduced. It was? I believe. Uh, they, he, he said a lot of times during that whole trial that, it wasn't going to help his sentence. And cetera, I mean, no, he's cetera, still going to prison, and, like, I don't know what kind of career he'd be able to have when he comes out. So, like, yeah, he, there's no particular... I can't think, besides the fact that he would get a cut, like, in his sentence, there's no particular, like, incentive to speak, unless it's just that he's, like, annoyed because he feels like maybe he was hung out to dry a little bit. Uh, yeah, I think that's yeah. a huge part of it. Like yeah. I said, What's poor What's the Anna. line everyone was quoting? I was loyal to a man who... <laughs> Who didn't deserve it or something like that? Yeah, been there, Michael. Yeah, Michael yeah. Cohen is the Takashi Six Nine of white people. <laughs> so, how come no one calls him a snitch? Think about it. Mm. That's food for thought. Coded language. No, <laughs> he is a snitch, but fuck it. But why no. is no one saying that? Yeah, no, no, you're right. Facts, facts, facts. Think about um, it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's you know. One of many things this week that I felt like we were bombarded with, but I just didn't care to hear about it anymore. Because it's like, if, it, if nothing's going to happen, I'm like, okay, great. We know he's trash. Like, we've known he's trash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Speaking of trash, oh, the God. Kardashians. Um, <laughs> I, Which ones? Yeah. <laughs> Which ones are specifically trash? Um, I mean, all of them. But yes, exactly. Really that was the right answer. answer. <laughs> that was the right answer. I... I don't even, like, I don't want to do this right now. <laughs> this, I, I hate to admit that initially the, the story, I was just like, ooh, boy. Um, because, like, it, it was just so, you know, ratings gold that was perfectly manufactured by Christian. Oh, Christians. my God. Well, as never, usual. Like, I've never been in, I've, not, I've never really been interested in the Kardashians. And not even in, like, a way where people like, I hate them, like, blah, blah, blah. I always had, like, no feeling about them. Do you know what I'm saying? I like Agreed. definitely had tuned into their show before because I love reality TV, but I thought it was boring. So then I never watched it. So then I never really cared about anything that happened. Yeah, I don't care about um, the Kardashians. I've never watched their show. Yeah, like I don't follow. The, it's like no. you don't and, like, keep the, up the, 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 with the Kardashians. Forgot here. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> no. But like I said, the the weirdest part about the Kardashians is that. No matter if you keep up with them or not, they're thrown into your face at every I mean, turn yeah. like, by like media. Yeah, like, you can literally just be, you know, browsing, just living your everyday yeah. life, and for some reason, right. there'll be a media source that. I mean, there's something about place. them that's just the the you know, the state of the world today with social media being the way that it is. You know, like because even if we had like a figure like like okay, we could probably describe them to someone like a Paris Hilton back in the day. But the internet just wasn't the same back then. So you didn't true. have to come across Paris Hilton, you know? True. Like, I don't think, even though I was aware of who she was, I don't remember, like, knowing the goings on of her life as much because, like, I didn't follow it, you know? Yeah. I didn't look for it. Agreed. It was there, they, but they I didn't do look for it. They very much push their lives into the public. Exactly. Um, but, yeah, the situation in total. Oh, yeah, really? Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, we just, like, started yeah, trash and scratching. Like, oh, we yeah. don't care. Yeah. But, uh, Jordan. Yeah. Uh, allegedly. Allegedly. allegedly, a she strong legend. This point. She said that she did not. Well, she kissed him. She said. She said he kissed her. Okay, whatever. Tristan Thomas kissed Jordan Woods, Kylie's best friend at a party. Blah 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 blah. blah. The end. Um, <laughs> that, I, that, that was a nice song from the story. Yeah, like, like I the, mean, the blah 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 part was actually yeah. my favorite part of that whole story. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was the the plot twist. You know, you didn't know where I was going, and then I. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is. That when someone very close to the family got with Tristan Thompson, yeah, pretty much like she said, he kissed her. Uh, she said that she felt it was inappropriate for her to be at his house for a party or whatever. Yeah, I mean that's that's here for there. What do you I don't think? Know. Putting them aside because I don't really like it's whatever. <laughs> what do you think of the argument that it's like they've all done this so many times to so many of their friends? So is she still in the wrong? Do you know what I'm saying? What do you mean? Like, is it, like is they it karma? That, that not even if you want to say it's karma, but it's like if you could do that to any of your friends, then maybe you're showing that you don't think it's a big deal. Because according to Jordan, 
Chloe and Tristan were already broken up, right? I'm not even defending it because obviously, mm-hmm. like, whatever, yeah. you know, taking yes, out yeah. the players, it's a fucked up situation. But um, people were saying, like, okay, well, Chloe stole the prize that is French Montana <laughs> and his pet monkey from Trina. <laughs> I was like, that is. I, when I heard that, my main segue, I was like, Trina, girl, what the fuck were you doing? Trina's too good for French Montana. Like, Trina looks good. I don't even care about, like, 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 where she's at right now in her career. French Montana's, like, oh, if like, I had, I just, what like... What list is yeah, French Montana? I'm, he's not A-list. Like, <laughs> he's definitely not B-list. I don't know. Like, what is French Montana? I, what is a French Montana? I don't know. So, something from the Bronx. That's that's really what it is. <laughs> yeah. I don't, One of those. I feel like I don't care enough about the Kardashians no. to go on this story. But, no, no, I don't either. But, ba- so let's just get to the situation itself. Let's say if mul- you have a person who multiple times ended up hooking up with their friend's exes, right? She uh-huh. also hooked up with, she was friends with Laura in London, and she hooked up with Trey Songz. I didn't even know they dated. I, but this is all that's a cute little right nice couple. I didn't even know about that one. Wow. But whatever. She then made out with Trey Songz, and then she and Laura in London weren't friends anymore. Okay, so uh-huh. then if you have a situation like that, let's say that, you know, uh, Chloe and Tristan were already broken up, which they should have been, because God knows that man was trying to escape for a very long time through his actions. Um, then, if, if this is the you know pattern that you've set in your life, is it still wrong for your friend to do that to you? What if they were? I mean, like, it's oh, still wrong, but it's also wrong for you to do that in right. the first place. But what like, if what if what if your friend then came to you and was like, "Oh, I didn't really know you would give a fuck. I thought that you thought exes are exes, so whatever." Since that's what you did with your friends' exes, I you mean, know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's it. A- like I didn't think you care. You know what? People don't care usually until it comes comes back to haunt them. Like that means so yeah. agree. Everybody in this whole situation like, is yeah. wrong. And you know, and like, trash, like, and like they they want to take it to the extreme because yeah. they have a season of their show coming out. And right. also because they're Kardashians. Yeah. Like they now, just wanna I don't like have, I say, play the victim as much as possible no, that's true. in this situation. I don't have siblings. So this is something I would want to ask someone who's a sibling. If like let's say your best friend, let's say Zach, right? Hi, Zach. Zach hooked up with your brother's girl, right? And your brother... Zach would probably be a pedophile. Like, <laughs> how, how old is your brother? I'm joking. Oh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> All right, I feel like we should move on. I think something incriminating just happened. Anyway, um, Zach hooks up with your brother's uh, legally aged girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and your brother's like, yo, cut ties with him. That's fucked up. Would you cut ties? I guess it also depends on your relationship with your sibling. We don't got to go into that because that could get deep. But just that, yeah. First off, nobody can tell me what to do. Let's start with that. <laughs> You don't care about anybody. <laughs> I care about both of those people. That's really the issue. So what would you do? I would say, don't tell me what to do because I'm literally going to be friends with my friends if I want to be my friends. So with my okay, friends. he doesn't tell you. Gonna, he doesn't tell you. To he like eyes. demands. No, no, he doesn't demand. Or what? He's, he's not going to invite me to no, Thanksgiving. No, 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 no. He doesn't say anything to you, but you know he's so hurt by the situation, and it's kind of partially on Zach. What do you do? First off, I talk to Zach and tell him how fucked up that was. Right. Then, I go back to living my life. I, like I said, I don't want <laughs> no, you to tell you what no, to do. That's it. That's it. I don't. That's not what it is. I would love if you, that I care about both of them, and that's not my situation to be like, oh, I'm going to pick so sides. Okay, if you have a sibling, mm-hmm. and you know that you're not a cold sibling, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you're not heartless, shrewd. Like, you're not like if you have a sibling and you are not a cold heartless shrew like you please leave a comment and tell me what to do. Because I don't have siblings, and I'm curious about that relationship. Like, my closest relationships in that kind of area would probably be with either my cousins or my so friends. So, it would kind of be the same thing if, like, you had one friend that slept with somebody and another friend on the other side. And she said, don't talk to that friend because well, I'm your friend. It's kind of kind of the same thing on a I lesser would, level. You know what? It's, it's weird because I feel like I would distance myself from that person, though, because I would be like, that's weird. Because you fake. Up. No, 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 no. Because fake. Because if you could choose it your friends. to them... Because if you think about it, I don't want to reference back to them again, and I want to end this soon because we talked about this for a very long time. Um, Chloe and Jordan also kind of had a relationship. So let's say it was like I was in a group of, like, a, like a, I had one of my best friends, but she was also kind of friends with my other friend. Do you know what I'm saying? And then she stole my other friend's man. You could maybe do that to me. So then I look at you different. I would. Like, I'm not saying I would cut ties completely, but I would probably move different around the person because I would be like, I know what you're capable of. 
let's move the fuck on. Please. <laughs> um, Robert Kraft. To move on to another topic that I don't want to talk about. Robert Kraft, owner of the Patriots, um, was... You know, Out there throwing them dollars. Oh, he was, he was arrested um, for soliciting sex from like a sex trafficking ring, which was like there were mo- like this story was like this. The reason I really like hearing about this story, I know everybody was like, ah, the Patriots hate them. Like, I don't imagine this old pruned apricot getting a rub and tug. Like I don't want to think about that. Like what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like uh, this story was kept popping up with his fucking picture with his like like you know. I have a real question. Like yellow raisin looking ass. I was so mad. I was like, I don't want to think about this anymore. All right, I have a real question. For yeah, what's All right, it? how long do you think Robert? Kraft- no, no. Listen, listen to the I question. I already know what the question listen, is. I don't know what How long do you think this about- has been going on for? Oh, I thought you were gonna ask me. <laughs> you, you, how long? What do you think I was gonna ask? <laughs> it don't matter. Um. <laughs> Can we talk about that? No. <laughs> like, I mean, it, well, it's it's science, I suppose, that you know longevity decreases with age. I thought that's what you were inquiring about. Anyway, um, <laughs> how long do I think this is going on? Probably for a very long time. Yeah, like how long yeah, do you think he's like know. been dabbling his, with... whole, his entire career. I'm so sure. why yeah. now are they bringing this up and bringing it to the public? Uh, well, I you? saw an article that I did not read that said it's like <laughs> yeah. I, it's because I'm sick of the situation. It's related, although I think it's great. It's getting attention because you know it does kind of uh, put it, ignoring him. You know, it's about a sex trafficking ring. You know, um, but it's like it, it, it's because of the way that police are addressing sex sex trafficking mm-hmm. crimes now, which is a good thing um, that it's getting more attention. My thing though also was I was like, if you're someone like Robert Kraft, like why? Are you like? Why can't you go to like a high class? Yeah, an escort where it's yeah. like the woman's choice. She's not like a sex slave. Like, yeah, it's not against her you will. Own the Patriots, like she's the bro. You know what kind yeah. of money that is. Like an actual sex worker, not like a sex slave. Like why? Can I can I tell you my conspiracy theory? Yeah, it's that, <laughs> it's that uh, no one cares about the sins of old white men until they start involving young black men in their lives oh. and helping uh, try to do things like that's interesting. You know, uh, prison reform, like something that you probably shouldn't <laughs> be touched as a rich that old white man and owner of the Patriots. That's interesting. Like I'm like almost a thousand percent positive that this man has been doing this his whole life. You know, as of owner of the Patriots, just going around. Dabbling in illegal prostitution rings and whatever yeah. the fuck, like people with too much money to do and too much money in their hands do. And now, for the first time, we're seeing Robert Kraft being, you know, put into that limelight or as a criminal. That's interesting. Like, I the only thing is, I feel like his involvement in that was very like in in the in a Jay Z's like prison reform alliance was very superficial. It's just for like can't a tax be dancing break. on stage with Cardi B either. Like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Can't do that. I think it was it was for you know to appease certain people to save face because the NFL has a bad image with that right now, and to kind of like you know he's like you know he's he's still he's still a good friend of Trump. Trump. But so I'm, I don't I'm, know. I'm, 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 I'm I sure just, there's just, a lot of people that didn't. Like I don't it. disagree with the idea behind your theory. Mm-hmm. I'm just not. I'm, I'm not giving this man anything. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not going to say he was like that involved in the view. I don't think I don't think he was that. No, no. I, I, I'm, don't get me wrong. I don't no, think I he was you. that involved at all. I just think that you know, certain people don't like when that's very do certain true. Things. That's very true. Like the fact that he even got arrested. Let's be real. He has he has Patriots owner level lawyers. Mm-hmm. No, that's right. Like you can get out of this. I mean, he's probably not gonna get in the, Like he's probably not gonna go to prison. He probably is gonna have to go to like sex rehab or something. <laughs> This wind's old ass. Yeah. Exactly. Sadly. Very true. Which is a little old concave man, but <laughs> anyway. Stop. Alright. You know, I thought about it too much. See what I'm saying? That's why this story plagued me this week. I don't want to think about it. Alright. Um, let's move on to some good news. What's that? Um, this week a man um successfully became president of a neo Nazi hate group. Um, a black man, I should say, not just a black. And he, um, a real black Klansman out here. 
Yeah. So there is a real black planet like it's in space on yeah, Tor right. one or and, but this is the, this is the kicker. Updated. This is actually the second time he's done this. He did it. <laughs> oh, this <laughs> man's a full fledged Vanessa. Yeah. You give me a second because honestly, I'm gonna we gotta say his name and I forgot it, so I'm gonna look it up real quick. But Three hours later. Stop! <laughs> I didn't even spell it right. Hold on. James Hartstern. Which is funny, because honestly, yeah, before I even right. read the story, I thought that he had done it in, like, if y'all saw Black Klansman, did you see Black Klansman? No, back in the day. No, 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 no. I knew he did it today, but I thought maybe he did it, like, via the internet by pretending to be a white man. He didn't. He... He, they knew he, who he was. He just befriended and manipulated two separate white supremacist leaders into trusting him. I don't like. I, it, honestly, I read multiple articles about this, and I'm still like, I have a lot of questions, and I need to know like how you managed to do this. The first guy, he was in um, prison for not some. Um, ha- James Hartstern. He was yeah. in prison for something like not that serious, something like mail fraud or something like that. And this confused me because he ended up being, I'm like, what sort like, was this a mix of like maximum security and like whatever? Because he ended up being with the guy who was um, responsible for killing two, three freedom fighters in the 60s. So I'm like, how does someone from who's going in for mail fraud? I must like I I just there's couldn't a lot of mail. I don't know if I of... <laughs> I missed something. I'm like, why class. did these two people end up in the same space? But whatever. It was next day air. Um, yeah, the next they said you can back from security. <laughs> but he befriended him and convinced him to like leave him part of his estate and like some kind of like legal rights to the hate group that that guy ran, which was like a sect of the clan, and then he dismantled that. And then he, like, befriended the leader of this neo-Nazi group that was involved at Char- in Charlottesville, and they were actually being sued um, over the death of Heather Heyer. And they, like, brought him in for some kind of, like, like to improve image or something, or something weird, something very... Like, hey, yeah. black guy, <laughs> I got a job for you. You want to come in and be the black face of the neo-Nazis? Oh, no. What? This, and, it, and then he just worked his way to the top from there? Like, the former president, like, appointed him, and now what he's doing to help this man... Head nigga! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my Are they recruiting black people to be on that You team? interested? I'm just saying. Oh, boy. If so we can look, all infiltrate, like, <laughs> this shit would be awesome. I feel like they'll never let this happen again. They're smart, but I mean they've already let it happen twice. So plus that time <laughs> from Black Klansman the movie, which is also true. Yeah, three, <laughs> two, times. two times with the same. Black guy. Klansman what three, <laughs> racist zero. Yeah. Oh, all right. Oh, also just on a random aside, he calls himself the Race Whisperer. It's a dumb name. Now I'm really tight. Like he could have thought of so many. Better. Yeah, he could have done a lot. What's a better superhero name? Why you put me on the spot? I knew you were gonna uh, ask me, and I was like, please don't ask me this. <laughs> so I have no that. idea. I'm very bad at naming things, so I don't know. You think of one. Go. Ahead. I'll give you until uh, the end of the segment because I was gonna say the way that he's dismantling this neo I would just. Group, I had one off the bat. I was gonna say Black Power Fist. Cliche. You don't have any. It's whack. What? I can still tell you it's whack. I don't have any because I would put thought into it. You just said that. Well, anyway, so the way that he, like why don't office? you think of something better? Okay. Well, I finished my sentence. Okay. So <laughs> it's it's um Women's History Month. Don't let men speak over you. So um, <laughs> so the way that he's dismantling this group, um, he's like they are being sued right now over the death of Heather Heather Heyer still and for their involvement in Charlottesville. And he is um, telling, basically pleading guilty on behalf of the group. <laughs> I have a question, but what does that mean? Who, like, does anyone go to jail? Like, I think it's more of a payout situation. So, like, oh, so they have they like, owe money or yeah? They have to, well, it's like a, uh, I, I believe it's fines. a civil suit. So it's like then your organization is essentially paying out. Lawful dead laws, yeah. Wow, what a hero. What no, would you name him? Don't, you know what? <laughs> I'm 
don't know, but it would be. I would. I would take my time with it because it deserves thought and effort, and it would be better than yours. So I probably wouldn't be able to figure yeah, it out. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Is it for us today? Yeah, that's it. Right, cool. At least we ended on a high. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> I'll stop Happy second Black History Month. <laughs> <laughs> this is Can We Talk About It. Bye. It's your boy, Yule. Thought I was going to get that in, didn't you? <laughs>